Hello everyone, I am Fayaz ibn Habib, student of North South University. Today I am going to present you our Tripoli 299 project which is about removing noise from signal with different filters. In this project, we review the basic principles of radar and work on different sections of it, learning different equations for radar signal and implement it using signal processing. The purpose of our project is to analyze manipulation and transformation of signal to extract useful information or modify the signal for noise removal purpose. In this project, we have to learn about signal processing to extract information about signals and also we needed many mathematical tools which we use in signal analysis like Fourier transform and filters. In this project, we have used MATLAB signal processing toolbox and functions to implement various filters and for generating and manipulation of signals. Also, we utilize it for plotting and visualization to analyze and compare the original signal. My next group mate will talk about the filters we have used in our project. Thank you, Faya Jivne Habib. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Now I would like to talk about an essential aspect of signal processing. Filters Filters play a vital role in shaping and modifying signals, allowing us to extract useful information, eliminate unwanted noise, and enhance the quality of various types of data. In particular, I will focus the one four common types of filters. Uh, the median filters, low pass filters, uh, high pass filters, and band pass filters. Let's start with the median filters. The median filters is a nonlinear filter that replaces each pixel value in an image with the median value of its neighboring pixel. This type of filters is particularly effective in removing impulsive noise such as salt and paper noise uh, by considering the median outlier can be effectively eliminated resulting in cleaner and more accurate data representation moving on the low pass filter is a fundamental filter that allow low frequency components to pass through while attenuating higher frequency components it is commonly used in signal processing to remove high frequency noise and smooth out signals for example in audio application low pass filters can remove unwanted high frequency noise resulting in a cleaner and more pleasant listening experience Conversely, the high-pass filter allow high-frequency components to pass through while of uh, while attenuating lower frequency components. This type of filter is useful for application where we want to preserve or enhance high-frequency details while removing low-frequency noise or unwanted baseline shifts in image processing high pass filters can sharpen image by enhancing ends and fine details making them more visually appealing and informative lastly we have the band pass filter which allow specific range of frequencies known as the pass band to pass through while attenuating frequencies outside that range. Bandpass filters are commonly used in various applications such as telecommunication and audio processing where specific frequency components need to be isolated or extracted. They are particularly useful in tasks such as signal separation, noise reduction and analyzing the specific frequency bands in scientific research. Thank you for your attention. The next part will be discussed my fellow member, Joy Chandra Roy. So uh, thank you, Ratul, for giving me the space to talk here. So I'm going to talk about is uh, three slides, merely the project code, uh, the MATLAB based part here. 
Now here is that in the project code, um, uh, here are the functions in the code that we use. I didn't put the whole code because it'll be a long, it will take more slides. Uh, but here are some of the functions uh, that might be a tricky uh, for people to understand, uh, like uh, RecPulse. Uh, this function is used uh, to generate the rectangular signal, the AWGN. Well, this is used uh, for the signal to noise ratio, uh, mainly the Gauss, uh, Gaussian noise uh, that we used in the signal, uh, for the receive signal actually. Then we have the meter field, um, say, um, it actually gives us the meter filter. With the filter, we have a digital signal, uh, the signal to noise ratio, SNR, the PSNR, which is I think one of the important factors in, in, in our project because we use it to result analyze the whole analyzer project. Before we go to the result analysis, our second is the graphs. Um, original signal, we have the noise signal and other low pass, uh, other filters, but as we can see in our eye that the low pass filter actually gives us the most cleanest signal of why. Of, of, of the receive signal uh, among the filters. So why is that? Uh, we use uh, PSNR, peak signal to noise ratio, in the code uh, to actually measure that uh, uh, that which filter actually performs best, which filter actually gives us the best uh, clean signal. And among this, uh, we saw the low pass filter actually has the more PSNR value, thus telling us it is the most clean signal. Now the reason behind that is that um, uh, in environment, um, every signal, when we receive uh, some signal, there is usually noise, and the noise are mostly high frequencies, uh, especially high frequencies. Uh, so, um, for f on that fact, um, the PSNR, um, the low pass filter, sorry, the low pass filter, what does the low pass filter does is that it actually uh, only passes the low frequency signal, that noise the high frequency signal. Now, as our signal, uh, as uh, uh, if you factor out the uh, our original signal, we can understand the environment, the signal, the noise signals are always high. So as a, as a result, when low pass filter acknowledge the signal, it actually also acknowledge the whole noise. So for a fact, uh, we understand the low pass filter actually gives us the most uh, um, cleanest signal value, uh, the cleanest signal that we in the receive. So uh, this is uh, all uh, we had the project. Uh, our project was about this. Um, that uh, we use four filters and we wanted to understand that what uh, um, which, which filter actually um, gives us um, the most clean signal because this mechanism is used in radar principle uh, which came from the Doppler effect uh, so uh, me, uh, me and our my group mates we all did this uh, the code uh, to see uh, which filter and we got the result as you can see in our eyes the low bus filter uh, in our project is the one that gives us the most clean signal uh, so thank you everyone for listening to us. Uh, hello everyone, I'm George Van Roy and I'm from the group Mavericks. Uh, my other group mates are uh, Rashid Lasaratul and Faiz Ibn Habib. Now I'll be demonstrating our whole project. Our project was um, is um, the removing noise from the signal with using different kind of um, filters. Now this idea came from uh, the radar mechanism because the radar, when it uh, generates a signal and gets to receive the signal, there's always, of course, there's noise on the receive signal, and radar actually, uh, uh, you know, uh, removes the noise from the signal and gives the original signal to give a, to have an important value. So we want to implicate that part, specific that part, on on MATLAB. Now what we did it is here we first generated a rectangular pulse as you can see in the code we get the various value of the time, uh, the time difference and the 0 0.2 variation in here, and then uh, as we wanted to have a signal we simply wanted to have a signal with a, with a noise I inside in it so we give a signal to noise ratio of 10 on there, and of course in the AWGN it's a, a Gaussian noise part we wanted to have that to generate noise in there, then we have do we get four filters in here. Now um, uh, the filters value were also given because uh, when the high pass, especially the high pass, of course the high pass cutoff frequency is going to be bigger than low pass, but actually uh, uh, passes the high frequencies. Now I think the most important part in the whole code is the PSNR. Now, before I talk about the PSNR, I want to I want to show what happens when you run this run this code. Now in the code we see we have six graphs. This is the original signal. This is the noise signal we receive with the signal to noise ratio of 10 decibel and then we have these four graphs now in your eye you can see the cleanest graph we here uh, we have here with the clean uh, less fluctuation is the low pass filter in the low pass filter 
if you compare if, uh, let's compare to the high pass filter <laughs> um, the high pass filter the whole frequency is just a linear thing and this actually proves that the noise we have are on high frequency as a result on a low pass filter we get um, less noise um, from the um, um, we, we have less noise and we actually get close to the receive the cleanest receive signal we have um, now there's another way to prove that it's the performance comparison now the performance comparison that we have in here is between the PSNR and the filters now PSNR is peak signal to noise ratio the PSNR uh, actually tells us uh, that the whoever which filter signal has the greatest PSNR it actually have less noise in it and the reason is also clear because as I said uh, I can see you know, even in the high pass filter, the high pass filter gives us is a linear curve. Or but the, well, well, if you look at other curves, it's, it's, it's more of a fluctuation. But in high pass, it's a just fluctuation linearly. It just shows us the noise on here is mainly on high frequency. As a result, when low pass filter is used, the high frequency are attenuated and there's less noise in the resultant signal of the low pass filter. So uh, we, um, and we get um, the cleanest signal across the low pass filter. So this is our project uh, as a whole. Uh, we used the uh, PSNR uh, function to perform on that. We used four kind. Of, uh, we also wanted to give a bar chart on that, so we used that. Now um, our project was uh, to determine um, um, the uh, the radar mechanism, especially the removing uh, noise from the signal. I wanted to implement it in MATLAB. That's what we did in the whole hundred lines of code and um, this is what we get as a result uh, we see on our four filters the low pass in our four filters of so median low pass high pass and bad pass we get the low pass which gives us the clearest signal in in our resultant project uh, so that's all uh, that's all for the demonstration here 